Okay, this is a quick video on how to change the fan motor on a Dakin wall mount air conditioning unit. Um, it's pretty much the same for all Dakin fan motors. Um, this isn't designed for the DIY expert, this is for engineers um, considering you would have already known how to take off the front fascia, how to remove the louvers, how to remove the grill there, you see it's been removed on the right, how to remove the PCB and all the infrared receivers. So from there you've got this plastic bracket and when it's in place it looks like this fascia here gets in the way of the two screws but it does have a bit of flex in it that you can push it out of the way and get your screwdriver in there to get the two screws out. Once you've done that you can then remove this and there's a small clip at the bottom here which by pushing it in allows you to move this bracket here. Now some people think that you can't take the fan motor out without taking all the fan scroll out and you've got to move the coil and God knows what else um, but you don't need to do that this fan motor is designed to be removed uh, with the coil drip tray and the scroll in situ so once you've done that and you've removed the grill on the right hand side let me just put my torch on I don't know if I can do it on here um, you might be able to see but on the right hand side of the grill uh, on the right hand side of the fan scroll where the veins of the fan scroll sit one of the veins is bigger than all the others so what you do is you spin the fan scroll round until you find the one that is bigger and then you shine your torch in there and you'll see a little Phillips head um, screw which holds the spindle of the motor to the fan scroll. Then using a long screwdriver, something like this, you can then put your screwdriver up in there. It's a bit tricky, but the secret is do not remove the screw all the way. You only want to loosen it enough so that when you pull on this fan motor here it will literally slide out. If you remove the screw it's a pig to get it back in and you may lose the screw. So you just undo it enough to allow you to remove the fan motor and slide the new one back in. Okay thanks for watching. You see a bit better now I've managed to get my torch on. So if I scroll, you see that all the veins are the same distance apart when you spin it. If I spin it back, you get to that vein there. So this vein here is the big gap. And I might be able to show you the screw, maybe, maybe not. But believe me, when you get your head in there, you will see it. there is it's now out you might just be able to see in there the hole where the screw sits the screw is still in so when we put the fan motor back in we don't have to mess about trying to re relocate that screw in that little hole it's hard enough to get on the screw just a point to note make sure you use the posi drive not a Phillips, sorry, make sure you use a Phillips, not a posi drive. Don't wreck the end of the screw. You don't get many attempts to undo it. It is a bit fiddly getting it out. I won't lie, it is in there reasonably tight, but a bit of wiggling around, it does eventually come free. Thanks very much. So here's my new Dakin fan motor. You can see there on the old fan motor, that's the spindle. A small indent there is where the screw locates onto the spindle to hold the fan scroll 
to the spindle. And there's my new one going straight back in. We're not going to bog down with what model fan motor it is or what unit it is. It's kind of irrelevant. This is really just a general video on how to change the Dakin fan motor. And it is also fairly the same or relevant to other air conditioning units. Okay, thanks very much. <clears throat> okay, so the new fan motor is in now. Um, just a little bit of advice when you're putting the fan motor in and locate once it's located inside the hole, which again is a bit of a wiggle, um, there's a bit of play in the scroll. Um, and the easiest way to locate the correct position is push the fan scroll away from you so it doesn't go any further and then just slide it back a little bit because you don't want it touching the face of the right hand side or the face of the left hand side because it will scrape so you need it almost free of touching anything on either side so you push it further away till it stops bring it back then very carefully nip up the screw inside which I'm going to attempt to do now okay your fan bracket is in place just to reiterate what I was saying earlier about the screwdriver it doesn't look like it's going to go down but if you just put the screwdriver head into the screw there's a bit of flex there on the side of that plastic it will allow you to unscrew it without doing anything too drastic to the rest of the unit so once your fan motor is in place and you've got this um, this bracket on get your fingers in there on the fan scroll just give it a, spun, a spin you'll know if it's spinning free and it's not touching anything otherwise you hear like a grinding noise before you put anything back together that is and if it's not right get your screwdriver in there undo the screw and slide the fan scroll around to suit but if you followed my instruction you should be okay okay we're going to put this back together now and we're going to test it. Okay, the uh, louver is back in place. Now before I put the fascia back on, we're just going to give it a test. My guy has just gone downstairs to uh, turn the power back on. Let's hope it doesn't go bang. It rarely does. Um, as I just want to reiterate, this isn't a video for DIY fanatics. This is really aimed at engineers young or old looking to figure something out as quickly as possible time sometimes is essential um, all power on hopefully there she goes yeah it's really designed at um, service guys looking for a bit of information um, so just bear that in mind. Okay, the fan has now started and it is nice and quiet. Happy days. Thanks for watching everyone. Like and subscribe or share this with whoever you think might want to see it. And I will get some more videos out this summer because I think it's going to be a long one. Thanks for watching.